Okay, so today I'm going to be still working on the G23. I got the H22 head back from the machine shop. Um, installed the intake side of the lifters. The uh, machine shop did the did the uh, valves for me. Um, I didn't install the exhaust side yet because I'm missing one of these uh, cylinders here that goes inside for the uh, VTEC. So, I need to get that before I can put the exhaust side in. But I just want to show you some of the differences uh, with the F bottom end and the H22. This is the F23 bottom end with the H22 head. Um, some of the mods you have to do to bolt this up. So, um, probably the hardest thing about the G23 build is this oil passage right here. So this is the F block, like I said before. And this is an H22 head gasket. And you can see, take this off here, maybe easier to see. It has six. Here, 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 here. And the H22 head has eight. So, um, what we have to do is block the oil pack. And you want to make sure you do this the correct way, otherwise it's just going to ruin the oil I'm going to show you what I did. I can't prove this is the best way, because I haven't installed it yet. I think it should work. Uh -uh. So, there's what I had the machine shop do for me. We threaded a set screw inside the oil passage. And I looked this up online. This seems to be the least painful, you know, best best way to really seal it. And the best part about this is the slug. If you ever had to, you could remove this. And, you know, if you ever do an H build or sell it, uh, it's useless with slugs in there because they won't be able to use it. So, so that's what I did. Um, the next thing you have to do is build a custom water pipe. I still haven't finished mine, but I will show you what I have so far. So the water pipe comes along the back here from the water pump, which bolts up right there, which I'll get to in a second. And what you need to do is use half the F23 water pump and half from the H22. What I did, and I recommend others try it, to do when doing G23 is buy at H22 and then sell the block. Um, I managed to make money doing it. I got all the pieces I need off of it um, and I ended up making money just keeping the head and the intake manifold. So um, I'm sure not everyone will make money doing it, but if you can get out, you know, for, for cheap and get free parts, and uh, it's the way to go. So. I've cut uh, my H water pipe, which bolts up just like this, and uh, I have a buddy who's going to weld these together for me. So I know it's hard, it's hard for me to fit it with one hand, but I think you kind of get the idea there. Weld that up. They are different diameter. The F1 will slide inside it, and then you can just... I uh, heated this up and hammered it down. I still probably still need to do a little more so that he can weld the uh, crack there. Uh, the other mod you have to do, or the timing belt, there's two. You have to use a F20 or H22 timing cog. This right here, the teeth is uh, different for the H22. This one has more teeth, I believe, than the F. Is right here. You know what? This one looks a lot cleaner, so now I'm leaning toward the this is the H22 one. I'll count the teeth. Um, so you need to swap that out. Um, next thing you have to do is build a custom water pump, which I haven't picked up yet. I'm having a machine shop do mine. What they basically do is remove the gear. Uh, from the water pump and press on H22 gear uh, so that you can run the H22 timing belt and still have the F23 water pump so it bolts right up. Um, those are the three things. Um, 
Unless I can think of anything else. I believe those are the only three things that you have to do um, to do the G23. Um, I know there's going to be little things like wiring up the distributor, but as far as bolting the block together, um, that's really it. Uh, I've already converted my car to OBD1, so that saves me a step. If you're installing this in a, a, uh, a cord, uh, 98 or 02 like mine, then, then you would have to convert it to OBD1, or you can run OBD2. It's going to be a little tricky tuning, but um, those are your options. So, um, I don't know if I showed these before. These are my forged pistons I got installed. These are CP pistons. Uh, these are the stock bore, which is the wrong thing to do. Um, I have my reasons for mine, but that is one thing that you would want to look into is resizing the bore of the F-22. Um, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, the bore is the diameter of the cylinder. So, two, the bore of the cylinder head is, I believe, a uh, 87 millimeter uh, bore, whereas the stock F23 is an 85 millimeter bore. So to be perfectly kosher, you should really bore this out two more extra millimeters, get the bigger pistons, and then you don't have to worry about uh, any detonation pockets that would arise around the side of this here uh, because of the gap there. You have a gap which, you know, it's, it's not good. Um, but I'll be running the stock bore, so I'll let you know how that goes. Um, machine Shop did a really good job in sawing the pistons and rods. I had to do all that. Um, just didn't, don't have time as it is, and it's something I've never done before. So, rather let the pros do it, not have to worry about it. Um, let's see. Show you the manifold we're running on here. Uh, um, not a not a crazy manifold or anything. This is just a OBX ram horn. Um, you know the you get what you pay for as far as manifolds goes. Uh, I got this one for a little under 400. Um, these are these kind of welds aren't, aren't the strongest. The problem is they. Instead of inserting material, they're just bonding these two pieces together. So you get rather weak welds, but it doesn't seem too bad. Oh, uh, this needs bored out severely. I don't know if you can see it on your fingers. Like, it's like a half inch. So I'm going to bore this out. Um, they they try a little in the factory, but these these aren't horrible. There's a you know, edge right there. Uh, same thing. Yeah. All of them. So, you know, they tried, but I'll get at it with the dream one. We'll see how long it lasts.